Hi everyone, this is Derek with OPTP. And today I am joined by a uh, physical therapist and pro shoulder support creator, Diane Cortese. And we're going to be uh, doing an interview today about the pro shoulder and everything uh, behind it. And we're really excited to bring this interview to everyone. Um, we haven't been carrying the pro shoulder support too long, honestly, but it is an incredible product helping lots of people. We get tons of questions about it every day. And we thought it would be helpful to our customers and people who are considering buying the product to get some information directly from the creator to um, inform and educate. And so that's what we're going to be doing today. So we're going to run through some questions that hopefully everyone finds very helpful. And then, um, you know, of course, if there are questions following this, depending on how you're watching this video, you can always reach out to OPTP, of course. But real quick, I want to bring on Diane. How are you doing today? Good. Thank you so much for having me today, Derek. It's nice to be with you. Yeah, you as well. And get to you talk well. about this product. Yes. Yeah. Well, we're excited to to hear. Um, you know, we're, we're always um, answering questions ourselves, but it's great to to have you now here as the creator of the product to help inform mm -hmm. and educate. Like I said, and so um, you know, and everyone from clinicians to people just looking to alleviate shoulder pain and everyone in between are are always reaching out to us saying, you know, what is this pro shoulder support? How do you use it? Mm -hmm. We'll cover all that and a lot more today. Okay, Diane, so why did you create the pro shoulder support? Derek, I felt that the patient or person who had a shoulder problem coming into the clinic needed an interim tool. So often as physical therapists, we see people come in post-surgery and they're wearing a sling and they're wearing it say four to six weeks. And then the physician will say, well, you can take that sling off now, but just the weight of their arm hanging uh, and that constant distraction of the joint. So the joint getting pulled because that rotator cuff, it's come out of the sling, but it's no way near recovery yet. Does that make sense to you? Mm -hmm. So it's got to go through that whole rehab phase so that the shoulder joint can stay stable in the socket. So if you put a pro shoulder support on in between your therapy, in between um, your daily activities, you're going to help unload that shoulder and it's gonna decompress the shoulder. It's gonna unweight that heavy arm feeling. And so your shoulder can now go back to doing what it needs to do and then get your therapy again. And then you'll put it on interimly during the day, maybe 20, 30 minutes, and you'll have that relief. You'll have that rest mm -hmm. and you're gonna have a position of stability. Mm -hmm. So that's gonna aid in your recovery. So it's really a great recovery tool that we've created. So it's it's like having that something to go to, that go-to product until you fully recover, if you're a surgical patient. It makes sense. If cool. you, but there's so many other patients who can, who can use this and who have used it. Mm -hmm. So it's used for a shoulder that's recovering, whether it's recovering from an injury, um, like a rotator cuff tear or rotator cuff surgery, um, but it can also be used when someone is just recovering from muscle fatigue. Yeah, we can definitely get into more of the specific groups that, that it's great for. Um, that's a really good, yeah, I mean, it makes complete sense as to, as to the reasoning, you know, the rationale for creating the product. And maybe, Diane, for those who aren't familiar with it, you've got a great background and image of the, the product there uh, behind you. But if you could just sum up within, you know, just really briefly, um, what the shoulder pro shoulder support is. I mean, to most people, I'll, I'll tell you right now, what we get a lot is it, is it like a towel you roll up underneath your arm or is right. it a pillow? I mean, what's right. the material yeah. and, and right. what is it exactly? Right. Yeah. So um, this is the pro shoulder support and it's a, it's a memory foam that um, has been compressed uh, a specific way. Um, so we spent a lot of time in the clinic um, and someone has asked me that just recently. And I think it, as physical therapists, so many have rolled up towels under the shoulder for a shoulder internal external rotation exercise. And we've been taught that will help assist the stabilization of the head. So when I was developing this product, um, interesting in the clinic, I had one patient doing internal external rotation exercises with their towel. And at first um, in rolling up a towel, you say, you know, which size should I use? So I had one patient take the towel and start to unwind it. 
And, and I was watching her trying to find the most, the best position that she felt her shoulder was. And then I realized that the size of the towel really matters. Um, and then I realized that the towel doesn't really cradle your shoulder joint. Mm -hmm. So I went to a lot of lengths to research like numerous, <laughs> I can mm -hmm. stack them higher, but numerous um, memory foam um, blocks and then started changing their shape and literally going under so many arms and saying, what feels better? Um, does this feel better? Does this level of compression feel better? Until we found, you know, where it was, ah, this is what's working on mm -hmm. every size we can think of, of so many size patients. And so we we then created um, this memory foam that comes into this covering, okay? Has a nice elastic support, mm -hmm. really simple to put on, but this U-shape cradles that shoulder joint the memory foam is a lot more comfortable. You don't have to figure out which towel size to use, mm -hmm. okay? And it's doing a lot more by positioning and keeping that shoulder joint um, out to the side for a lot longer period. So if someone mm -hmm. really doesn't want to walk around with a towel under their arm the whole day. Okay, so maybe if we can dive into a little bit of anatomy as you kind of talk about how the pro shoulder support works. I mean, if we can just visit that for just a minute, how does it sure. work? anatomically in terms of what is it doing in the shoulder joint that creates, you know, benefits? So the shoulder is so complex and it has several joints, but the glenohumeral joint is what we usually think of when we say the shoulder joint. Okay. And so this product is really helping stabilize the glenohumeral joint. So that most people would say, well, what is the glenohumeral joint? We'll just call it the GH joint. It's where the ball meets the socket um, of the joint. Okay. So I can share with you, um, let me see this picture, hang on one second. So if you have um, the shoulder joint um, has this nice bull round head here and there is the socket in which it needs to sit. Mm -hmm. And so what we find in our science or in the literature, um, we know that when that ball is more in the center of that socket, the shoulder joint is in a healthier position. So it's in a mechanically advanced position or it has a mechanical advantage if it's seated in the socket more centerized. Mm -hmm. So when it's hanging lower um, or hanging, it shifts, can shift in and out of place. Mm -hmm. So that position of placing the ball in this closer into the center of the socket is where you want to be um, to help restore the shoulder to a comfortable moving position or the functional anatomy moves better when you're in a, a mechanically advanced position. What happens is the shoulder needs to be balanced. So we have these stabilizers and, and we call them inside stabilizers or internal and external stabilizers. So the rotator cuff is um, doing its job by being an external stabilizer. And you've heard probably the term labrum that sits in here in the inside of the socket, that's one of your internal stabilizers and your ligaments are as well. So if there's a disruption uh, of the rotator cuff, there's a tear, well then there's gonna be a disruption in the whole shoulder stabilizing factor. So everything needs to be in balance. So it's a balancing act to get that shoulder well. So if the shoulder is not working up to par in the muscle area, the rest of the shoulder can't feel so good on movement, if that makes sense to you. Mm -hmm. um, so the, the shoulder joint is in a healthy position um, when it's more center in the socket, okay? And the rotator cuff is, is working uh, as well as the labrum is stable. All moving parts have to be well. So if the rotator cuff's fatigued, for example, if it's just tired because it's been doing so much exercise, then there's no way it can hold the centerization or there's no way that ball can be held real nicely in that socket. So you're gonna get translation of motion uh, and that translation of motion causes irritation, can ca cause, cause micro tearing, micro tearing um, and cause trauma in the joints. So this product, what it does is it allows recovery 
of the rotator cuff because it decreases the tensile forces on the joint and it helps provide head stabilization in the socket. So that's sort of where the anatomy plays in to the product. Does that, I'm hoping that makes sense. I'm trying to keep it a little bit more simple. Yeah, yeah, it definitely does. What are some of the most, I guess, key areas that, that most people you find are using them and, and what you suggest for patients? And then what are some other maybe areas that, that people don't naturally think of, like you just mentioned, when traveling, you know, when driving? Right. Right. So if you could right. just touch on, touch on all those, those most common areas right. and then some of the, the less common but still beneficial uh, right. opportunities to use it. Yeah, you know, I think that you, most of our patients, uh, or most of my patients use it a lot when they're sitting. Um, so when they're sitting and when they're, whether they're on their computer watching TV, just resting at the end of the night. However, there have been lots of patients that have really felt that it's been wonderful um, to sleep with. And so what I tell those people is sleeping is, is a hard thing to say. You can guarantee um, that anyone's going to have a great night's sleep. And everyone sleeps differently. Some are tossers and some will stay in the same position. So if you want to use it for the sleep position, my instructions are usually if you're sleeping on your side, you can even put a smaller pillow in your lower arm, but you need to make sure that the strap isn't too tight and that you can feel your arm. Because if you're feeling any, if you're tingling or numbness, you want to feel and relocate your strap. You want to relocate your shoulder support. So you don't want to use it if you're under the influence of medications or alcohol, right? That would not be a good thing. But if you find it helpful to sleep, um, then by all means, you can try it as long as you have feeling in your arm. Um, and if you know that you have feeling, if someone has lack of sensation, that may, be a, that may be a different story. But so many patients find it helpful during sleep, others just to rest, just lying down and resting. Um, and that has been something that people are reporting um, to that they feel like it's been a big help. Mm -hmm. Another area that, um, you know, I've, I've talked a little bit about the overhead athlete, but there are so many people who are recovering um, from an injury who, who maybe their shoulder is never going to be 100%. So maybe they broke their shoulder and dislocated it and had nerve damage and tore their rotator cuff all at the same time. And their goal is to get back to golf, you know? So after they've done all those things um, and then they start golfing, they put it on underneath their shoulder because they just, you know, achieved their goal that, you know, their shoulder is not a hundred percent, but they can now golf. But after golf, their shoulder's tired now. So they'll wear it after golf. Mm -hmm. um, I had someone come in the other day who's a fisherman and said, I have been casting for hours and, um, you know, I don't even reach for Tylenol anymore. When I get back, I just throw my pro shoulder support on, you know, and I'm good. So I can keep going fishing the next day. So there's been so many different stories um, that people use it for. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it, it depends on um, what you're seeing. There's not too many people that have a problem with their shoulder that it won't help. I think it'll help the most people that have a problem with their shoulder, whether it's been one for a long time or one where they're, re they're recovering um, from a new injury. Well, that's excellent, Diane. Um, I think that's actually going to round out all of our questions here. Um, you covered everything and it's been very insightful and I really appreciate your, your time. Yeah, we ran through everything that we wanted to, to learn. And um, like I said, OPTP is thrilled to be you know, offering the pro shoulder support, both, both sizes and, uh, have had some really good success with it so far. And we think that having some of your insight here, um, in terms of some of the most popular questions that we get will really help people make uh, good decisions. And most of the cases they'll decide to try a pro shoulder support. And I'm sure be very happy with it. So, um, is there anything that you want to leave, uh, people with here? No, I, I hope that if someone um, has a shoulder problem, that they will certainly um, look into it, share it with their friends and family. I, I know that some family has already ordered it for others, which has been great. Um, share it with their, their, um, their physicians, their clinicians. It's a new product. It's a new concept. Um, so when something's new, it's going to take a little bit of time, I think. And the more people that really start using it and liking it, it's going to get out there um, because it's already helped a lot of people. Um, so I urge you to try it. Um, if you're a clinician, 
then try something new because it's really about time that we have something new to offer for the shoulder. Definitely. Yeah. Well, thanks again so much, Diane. Uh, we, we are excited to continue working with you and help uh, helping build the uh, awareness and overall usage of this wonderful tool. And um, definitely plan on seeing a lot of uh, success with it uh, in the future, but more importantly, uh, really anticipate a lot of people benefiting from using it as well. So um, thank you uh, very much for your time. And uh, maybe, you know, hopefully we'll, we'll, won't be too long before we can have another chat, maybe um, and, and dive deeper into some of this uh, stuff, especially with regards to the anatomy for some of our clinicians out there. So. Very good. Thank you. Thank you, Jerry. Okay. Thanks.